Hi guys, my name is Ritya Beiruthi and in this video we are going to be solving multi-step equations or solving for a variable and we're going to be doing this using algebra tiles or manipulatives. So before we begin, I just want to talk to you about the two manipulatives that we are going to be using. We are going to be using this uh, large rectangle which has two uh, sides which are different colors, the green and the red. So this represents um, X. So if it's green, that's positive X. If it's red, it's negative X. And then we are also going to be using this very small square. It has two sides. It has um, red and yellow. This represents the constant or one. So the yellow side is positive one and the red side is negative one. Let's go ahead and begin. Question one. 2x minus 2 equals 4x plus 6. When I'm working with multi-step equations, I like to put a line, a vertical line on the center and the equal sign to keep my left side separate from my right side. Let's go ahead and model 2x minus 2. So remember, if it has a variable x, that means that I'm going to go ahead and use my rectangle. It is positive 2, so I'm going to use the green side, not the red side, and I need two of those. So two green rectangles. And then negative 2, that's a constant because it doesn't have a variable, so that means I want the little square. It's a negative 2, so I want the red side. Now let's go ahead and do the other side. It's positive 4x. It has a variable, so I want the rectangles. It's positive, so I want the green side. So let's go ahead and put four green rectangles. And then plus six, that's a constant, so I'm gonna use the square. It's positive six, that means not the red side. So in this case, it's gonna be the yellow side. All right, so now I've got that modeled. I have two x minus two equals four x plus six. All right, so my goal is I want all of the rectangles on one side and all of my small squares on the other side. So for the sake of consistency, I'm always gonna put all of my rectangles on the, I'm gonna always move my rectangles to the left side, and I'm always gonna move my little squares on the right side. All right, so this is good. I like that my these two rectangles are on the left, but this is bad. I don't like that my four, uh, rectangles here are on the right. So let's go ahead and move them to the left side. So how do I cancel out four positive? Well, what I can do is I can put four negative and I'll talk to you about that in a second. So if I have four positive, I'm going to go ahead and put four negative. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other side. I ha it has to balance. So if I put four negative here, I'm going to need to put four negative here of the rectangles. Okay, so whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. Now, look what happens. Here, I have positive 1x, negative 1x. What is 1 minus 1? 1x minus 1x is 0, so this becomes a 0 pair, and they can go away or cancel out. Same here, 1x minus 1x is 0, cancels out. So basically, all of these cancel out. And then also here, I have some ones that cancel out. I have 1, 2 positive, and I can also take away 2 negative, right? 2x minus 2x is 0. Perfect. So I have two red rectangles on the left and none on the right. This is great. Now my goal is I want all of my squares on the right side. So these two need to move to the other side. So how can I cancel them out from the left? Well, I'm gonna put the opposite of them. So if I have two red ones, I'm gonna put two of the other color. So if I have two negatives, I'm gonna put two positive and remember what I do to one side, I must do to the other side. So if I put two positive here, I'm going to go ahead and do two positive here. So again, these are two, sorry, these are two, these are negative two, right? So two minus two is zero. These cancel out, these are a zero pair. All right, so I have negative two X here, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to divide them. So basically, I want to know how many squares 
can I give each rectangle and they would be the same amount. So let me show you how you would do that. So I'm gonna do one here, 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 one here. So basically each rectangle can have four small squares. There's one more thing that I need to do. I cannot have a red rectangle. I cannot have a negative X, a negative rectangle. I need them to be positive. So how can you make it positive? How you make it positive is you just flip everything. Okay, so I'm going to flip that and I'm going to flip everything. Flip this and I'm going to flip everything. All right. So basically this right here is your answer. So one X, one X or X, one rectangle can have, remember these are negative because they're red, negative one, two, three, four squares. So the answer to this is X equals negative four. Example two. 3x plus 5 equals 2x plus 2. Remember on your equal sign, you're going to have your vertical line. Let's go ahead and model this. So I have 3x. So remember, if it has a variable, you're going to use the rectangle. It's positive 3. So that's the green side, not the red side. And I have plus 5. Okay, so that's a constant. So that's going to be the small squares. It's positive 5. So not the red side. All right, now we're going to do the other side, 2x. It has a x, it has a variable, so I'm going to use the uh, rectangles. It's positive 2, so that's the green side, plus 2. That's a constant, so I'm going to use my small squares. It's positive 2, not the red side. All right, so remember my goal. I want all of my rectangles here on the left side, and I want all of my squares on the right side. So this is good. This is not good. So let's go ahead and move this positive 2 um, x here. So remember how you do that is first I'm going to cancel this out. So to cancel that out, if I have two positive, I'm going to put two negative. And remember, whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other side to keep it balanced. All right, so let's go ahead and cancel them out. So this is going to be a zero pair. Positive 2x minus 2x is zero. Cancel it out. And over here, another zero pair. Okay, 2x minus 2x is zero. Cancel that out. All right, now these, these squares need to be moved to the other side, need to be moved to the right side. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put the opposite. So I have positive five, I'm gonna go ahead and put negative five. All right, so let me put that down here so I remember what to do to the other side. So if I put negative five here, I need to put negative five on the other side. Let's go ahead and do that. And we cancel out. So positive 5 minus 5 is 0. That's all gone right now, which is exactly what I wanted. And then here I have positive 2. I can take out negative 2. And then I have one rectangle. How many squares can one rectangle get? Well, it can get all of them. All right, so remember your rectangle needs to be green. Is my rectangle green? Yes, so I don't need to flip anything. It's perfect. This is your answer. One rectangle or one X or X equals how many? One, two, three, and they're red. That means negative three. Don't forget that negative. This is your answer. Question three. 5x minus 10 equals 14 minus 3x. Make sure you have your vertical line on the equal sign. All right, 5x it has a variable. That means it's going to be the rectangle. So I have five rectangles. Positive means the green. And then minus 10, that's a constant. No variable, no letter. So that's going to be the small square. So let's go ahead and count out negative 10. Remember, negative is the red. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna do positive 14. There's no variable there, no letter, so that's gonna be the square, and it's positive, so I need 14 of the non-red, so that's 
um, the yellow. So 14 of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then negative 3x, it has a variable, has a letter, so I want the rectangle. It's negative 3, that means I want the red one. Red rectangle. There we go. All right, so remember, I want all my rectangles here, all my rectangles here, all my squares here. All right, so which rectangles are not good? These right here, these need to be canceled out and moved over. So if I have three negative, negative three or three reds, I'm gonna need to go ahead and put in three positive or three greens. And whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side. Let's go ahead and do that to the other side. So here, three minus three, three X minus three X, those cancel, those are zero pairs, they go away. Nothing cancels here. These are all green. Don't take anything away from there. Now we're going to have to go ahead and move these, cancel them, and move them to the other side. So here I have negative 10. So to do that, I need to put positive 10. So positive 10. So that means 10 of the yellows. I don't know why I chose such big numbers. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. So that's 10. And then 10 to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, these will cancel out, right? 10 minus 10 is a zero pair. Those go away. Let me move them out of the way here. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and divide them up. So how many squares will each rectangle have? Let's see. All right. So one, one, one. Which one's going to get one? And now we're going to go to two. And now three. Okay, there we go. It looks like each rectangle can get three squares. Now remember, I want all of my rectangles to be green. Are they all green? Yes, so I don't need to make any more changes. I don't need to flip anything. So basically, this is my answer. One rectangle or one X or X equals how many? One, two, three, positive because they're not red. X equals three. Example four, two X plus seven equals three times X plus one. All right, remember to put a line on your equal sign. Let's go ahead and model this. Two X, it has a variable. That means I want the rectangles and it's positive two. And then positive seven, that's a constant because it has no variable. So that's the small uh, squares, it's positive. So not the red, the yellow. There we go. Now, three times x plus one, what does that mean? How do I model this? This is not three x, this is not like this. What you're gonna do is it's three of these, it's three x plus ones. Okay, so x plus one, so that is one x, if there's no number in front, it's one, one x, it's positive, plus one, that's this. Okay, so I want three of those, three of the exact same thing. That's three times x plus one, this right here, x plus one, three times. All right, so now we can go ahead and continue. So what I want is I want all of my rectangles here on the left, and I want all of my little squares on the right. So let's go ahead and move these rectangles. We're gonna cancel them and move them to the left side. All right, so I have three greens or three positive. I'm gonna go ahead and put three negatives or three reds. And remember, whatever you do to one side, you need to do to the other side. So we're gonna do it to the other side. 
So three reds here, three reds here. These will go ahead and cancel out, right? So 3x minus 3x is 0, 0 pair. And here I have two green. I can go ahead and match them up with two reds and they would cancel out. 2x minus 2x is uh, 0. All right. Now I want all of the small squares moved to the other side. I want to cancel those and move them to the other side. I have positive seven or seven yellows, so I'm going to put negative seven or seven reds on both sides. So let's see, that is seven. And to the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So positive seven minus seven, this is a zero pair. It will cancel out zero. And here I have three of the yellow or three positives, so I can go ahead and match them up with three reds, right? And remove those. All right, now we match them up. So I have a rectangle. How many squares can I give to that one rectangle? Well, I can give all of them. There's four. Now remember, in my last step, my rectangle cannot be red. It has to be green. So how do you fix that? Because I can't have a negative X. I want it to just be X with nothing in front. So to do that, you're just gonna go ahead and flip it to make it positive. But if you flip it, you gotta flip everything. So this is now positive X and flip it all. This is your answer right over here. So 1x or x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, positive because they're not red. This is your final answer. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you again next time.